Hello, so now we're going to talk about the magnetic effect of a current. Okay, so a magnetic field is produced by a current that is flowing through conductors such as a straight wire, a flat coil, or a solenoid. Now let's look at this example over here. When a wire is placed vertically through a small hole in the horizontal cardboard, like this. Boop. If you poke it through here and the cardboard is flat like this. Okay, there will be resulting magnetic field lines and they will form concentric circles around the wire. So, if there's a straight wire through here, actually the magnetic field lines will go around it. And you can prove this by putting compasses around any electric wire. Plotting compasses, if you put them around here, you will see that they circle the wire. Magnetic field is stronger if it's closer to the wire as the magnetic field lines will be closer together. So, you should actually draw the knit the lines that are nearer to the wire as closer together and the lines that are further from the wire as wider and wider and wider from each other. Okay? The magnetic field strength will decrease with increasing distance from the wire. When the magnitude of the current is increased, which means if more current is going through, there will be more magnetic field formed, which means stronger fields. It means that if you draw these magnetic field lines now, you should draw them um, slightly closer together because drawing them closer together means a stronger magnetic field. Also, when a current is reversed, the direction of magnetic field is also reversed and this can be determined by a very familiar rule which is the right hand grip rule. Okay, Imagine gripping the straight wire with your right hand and if you point your thumb in, in the direction of the current and your fingers curling in this direction, this will be the direction of the magnetic field around a single wire. Zoop, 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 right? Let's look at this part, the magnetic effect around a current carrying wire. So this cross here and a circle, think of it as a wire that is going into the page. Okay, imagine you're look at, looking at the back side of the wire and the current is flowing from you into the page. This is denoted by a cross and a circle. Now let's look at the other side. This one here is a circle and a dot. Okay. Now this denotes um, that the wire is going through the page again, but for this one, the current is coming from behind the page and coming out to you. Imagine this over here as looking at the tip of an arrow. Okay, so this, will, this is what you will see. So it's like um, the arrow is coming towards you. And this one over here is like the back of arrow where there are feathers. Um, that's an easy way for us to demonstrate um, directions of currents um, using 2D material. So as you can see, the current, if the current is going into the page, all of you can use your right hand rule. Use your thumb, okay? Point into the page and look at where your fingers are curling. Can you do it now? When you use your thumb pointing into the page, you'll notice that your fingers will curl in this direction. If you have it wrong, try checking whether you're using your right hand. Now, let's try this one, okay? If the current is coming out of the page, this point here, I want you to use your thumb and point it towards yourself. Okay, if you point it towards yourself, all of you try it now, and then your fingers will curl in this direction. Using those ideas, now let's look at what happens when we loop a wire. Let's say if the current comes out through the paper and goes back in over here. Let's say a simple loop like this. This is what will happen and you will produce this kind of magnetic field. It seems quite smooth, right? Let's try it out. Use your thumb and point upwards. We will focus on this wire first. If your thumb points upwards, the magnetic field line should go around here. And the other one, the one on the other side, when the current goes up and goes back down, right? Let's focus on this one now. Now your thumb should point downwards and you should see that the magnetic field line should be going this way. Now these two swirly parts will work together and they will make the magnetic field go through in this manner. The arrows are coming from here and they're all flowing out through here. This will actually denote that this side over here is a weak north pole 
and this side over here is a weak south pole. Now there are two ways to increase the magnetic field strength at the center of the flat coil. So the first one is the one that we showed just now, which is just to increase the current. If we increase the current, then these magnetic field lines will become more um, compressed and therefore the magnetic field will be better, will be stronger. However, an easier way without increasing the current too high is just to increase the number of turns of the coil. And so instead of just one coil, maybe you go up, loop it around a few times and then come back down. And we have seen this before. We have seen it in the solenoid. You send the current up here and loop it around many, many, many times and it comes back down. If you loop it many, many, many times and it comes back down over here, then actually coordinate the magnetic flow, the magnetic fields, and this part here will be a strong north pole and this part here will be a strong south pole. The magnetic field pattern of a solenoid has two poles and it can be used as an electromagnet. We can use the right hand grip rule in the method which you were taught originally in the, in the previous parts. Okay, and you can use it to determine the poles of the new solenoid. Curl fingers in direction current, thumb points towards the north pole of the solenoid. In case anyone has forgotten, the word solenoid means a coil of wire. So, now we are here to talk about the magnetic field of a solenoid. How do we increase the magnetic field of the solenoid? We can do it by three ways. The first way is the simplest way once again, we just increase the current. Okay. However, we can't increase the current by that much, otherwise firstly it becomes dangerous, secondly we don't have enough power for doing that. We can also increase the number of turns of the solenoid as mentioned before as well. However, one third thing that we can do to increase the magnetic, the magnetic field of a solenoid is to just insert a soft iron core into the solenoid. This soft iron core or any magnetic material would concentrate the magnetic field lines. Therefore, it will help to increase the magnetic field strength. So you can see over here in this device, the magnetic relay, there's a soft iron core stuck into the middle. It's not touching the wires over here, okay, but it helps to concentrate the magnetic field lines.